All right, back with the map. Again, I think the value, and one of the main values is um, being able to sort of place things. And so we're gonna give another title to each of these areas. And I think you're gonna see sort of just another way, another lens to look at it, another value. So we're gonna start with the first sort of bracket right here. And that's when we do our breath work right, our lungs and our breath work. So it was Jim Lohr who sort of titled these categories and I liked them and they fit in really well. So we're going to allocate and add these on. So our responsiveness, our ability to be responsive, right? He has sort of a title of um, toughness traits and these toughness traits are things that we need to be able to handle the variants of life and all these stresses. So our ability to be responsive or have responsiveness, that corresponds really well with us with breath work, right? So as we're taking in our breath work and doing that allows us to be responsive. Think when we're reactive. Reactive is when we just, you know, we don't think someone says something and it just gets triggered. And we just, we just, we react, right? We don't want reacting. Reacting, remember on the matrix, is the ego side or the left side. We want the spirit side or responsiveness. We want to be able to respond to something, right? So responsiveness for us is going to be trained through breath work early in the morning, right? So first thing we're gonna do a lot of times is this responsiveness training. And that is through our breath work, our qigong, all these practices, our calisthenics, etc. Digestive system is just gonna stay because we're not gonna do anything that. And so think of, again, think of this mirror. So if we train our responsiveness ourselves, then that's going to mirror and lead into the, as we deal with people, right? Our self-serve cycle. So our self-serve cycle is responsiveness, taking care of, and then that, how that we reflect it out. Same thing here. So we're gonna, during this check-in, we're gonna build our resiliency. So this is a great time to build a resiliency. And we do it via our knees, swimming, dragging, dragging a lot, right? Or even other things, but we're gonna similar build our resiliency through these techniques during these times in our own self so that it mirrors into the next part of our, our work, right? So our self, we're building our resiliency so when we serve, we can be resilient, right? We're building our responsiveness in our self cycle so that when we serve our family and everyone else in the world, we can be responsive. See how that works? So each of these has a toughness trait that we are self-developing in our self cycle so that it reflects out in our serve cycle. Self-serve cycle, right? We take care of ourselves, doing these things so that we can serve and help other people, the rest of the world, and we want to mirror those traits. So we develop those traits, train those traits, focus on those traits so that they naturally just reflect out. The next one that's up as our cardiovascular system is sort of at its peak. We're going to take advantage of our endocrine system, which are hormones, through our flexibility, right? So we're going to physically do some flexibility work in our hips and our waist. And then that's going to reflect in being flexible in the next part of the day, right? So our self cycle, we're going to be flexible through our day pull training so that we can serve with a flexible attitude in mind, right? Because Things go crazy through here, so we want to be flexible, right? So a responsive, resiliency, flexibility. From flexibility, right, we're going to go into the next cycle, which is strength. So these, so far, are, are traits, right? Responsiveness is a, is a trait we want to develop. We want to be responsive. We want to be resilient, so we train it. We want to be flexible, both physically a little bit, right, enough, and in general in life. And the next one is strength. So a toughness trait or a strength, a trait is strength. It doesn't mean you have to bench press a certain amount or be a certain amount of 
measurable strength, it's a trait, right? So doing our strength training a lot of times here, just with body weight or weights or sandbags or bands or anything that we works that we're into builds our strength and then that replicates out in our life, right? So we do our self cycle, we build our strength, our toughness trait so that we can have that strength out into the world. Does that make sense? So these are resilience. We have responsiveness, resiliency, flexibility, and strength. Those are, our, are sort of our four main um, toughness traits that we are implementing through our day pulls so we can have them in our life, right? We're doing them for ourselves first in our training because we know they just will ripple back out into what we're doing next, which goes self-serve cycle, right? And sort of the fifth one I call the container cycle or the container trait, right? Our days sometimes tend to unwind after a point. So the container sort of matches just keeping everything together, not letting things just fall apart, right? Sometimes like on our, on our week map, I call Friday our container day, right? We can try to contain everything because it naturally just kind of like, we fall apart on Friday afternoon sometimes a lot in our decision making because we feel like we can. And so same here. So as above, so right. So as we get it here, so the same thing here, right? So we build our container through sort of the arm lines or the daily dozen, some stomach activation for digestion because it's not as high then. And we contain both through our actions and our training so that the rest of the night isn't just a complete meltdown. And then, because remember, everything is an opposite. So a bad time here is usually gonna have a bad time here, right? So everything is a balance, like a spoke on a wheel. These all support each other. So if this, if we get to, if we do great and we get to here and then we say, ah, I made it through the day and we do, don't contain ourselves, we just fall out the seams, that's gonna affect the next cycle, right? Because we don't leave this. Until death, we don't leave this. Um, and that's awesome because it gives us such a continuity to be able to observe ourselves to get better at things, to integrate things. It's, it's phenomenal. It's so amazing to be able to use this. So don't view it as a, as a negative, view it as an awesome positive, right? And then we move into sort of the recovery phase, right? Which we've talked about. So these are the toughness traits. Again, that Jim Lohr talked about, he called them toughness traits, defining them. They're traits that we want ourselves and our kids to resemble and they naturally fall into ideal training times that are again, as our, the day poles or our training times our check-ins are our serve aspect, right? Or as our self aspect, sorry. So this is when we take care of our self during our day pool so that we can serve. Everything is a self-serve cycle, alternating back and forth. So we wanna build these traits naturally in ourselves through training, which makes sense, like our dojo, so they just ripple or replicate out in the next phase, which is serve. So. This right here, awesome, take advantage of it. Use a positive mindset about this, right? Be excited that each opportunity is a chance to get better. Think in one day, in one week, in one year, 10 years of layering this, 20 years, how responsive, resilient, flexible, strong, and contained you can get by just a little 1%, 1%, 1% every week. Huge dividend, so get excited about this. It's happening.